up guys and welcome back to another clash royale video so right now we're going to be talking about the new balance changes that are coming on october 24th so in two days and oh my god this is huge guys this is huge this is a huge update but later on in the day i'm going to be uploading of a deck that you guys suggested so yes double upload day but anyways let's get into the this update it's huge guys you guys can't imagine how big this update is so let's see let's see what we have here um, the Royal Giant got a slight nerf. It's nothing major. Nothing major. It's hit speed decreased to 1.7 seconds. I mean, it's damage is still going to be the same. It's HP is still going to be the same. But usually with my problem with the Royal Giant is that when I pretty much took it out, it still managed to get a final shot on the tower. So maybe that's not going to happen anymore. So, I mean, a slight nerf, but something is something. The next one. Oh, man. Am I reading this right? The zap spell, the stun duration decreased to 0.5 seconds. This is huge, guys. Huge, huge, huge. Oh man, this is gonna completely change things. Good thing that I did not upgrade my zap spell on any of my accounts because I had a feeling that the zap spell was gonna get nerfed. But here's a hidden buff that you nobody has mentioned the Inferno Tower. So usually when you zap the Inferno Tower, it, the Inferno Tower resets its damage, but now the Inferno Tower is going to have half a second to react. So it's going to react much faster after it gets zapped. So that's a hidden buff to the Inferno Tower. So I recommend for people to start using the Inferno Tower. It's powerful right now, but it's going to be even more powerful. And with this new update, it's going to be, you're going to need it. Believe me, you're going to need it. The next one is the Princess. Its area damage radius decreased by 25%. I do not get it. I mean, the Princess is weak. The miner can take it out, poison spell, fireball, arrows, and in some occasions even a, a zap spell, and even the log. So, I do not get this, and it's my first legendary, are you serious? But, uh, I don't know, I don't get it, I don't get it. But it is what it is, it is what it is. The next one is something that I've been asking for, if you have seen my previous videos. I've been saying the Ice Wizard is just too so powerful, that it has too much value for 3 elixir, so its hit points decreased by 5%. A fireball, a level 7, and a level 8 fireball won't take out a level 1 ice wizard, but I mean, it's gonna do it's gonna affect it a little bit, so it's gonna be able to be taken out a little bit faster. So that's something positive. So the next one, let's see, it's the miner. It's something that I asked for in my top 5 cards that need a nerf. So if you haven't watched that, I'll link it down below. And it's something that I asked for. I said that it was a little bit too fast and it popped out too fast. And it's deploy time increased to one second, so it's gonna be easier to counter now. And usually, when the miners take out the elixir collector, you'll be able to react much faster. So the miner got a huge, huge nerf. But oh my god, am I reading this right? The miner, its hit points decreased by six percent. I mean, I've been saying that the miner needs a nerf. That tournaments are infested with miners. The legendary arena is infested with miners. I did ask for a minor nerf, but this is a major nerf. <laughs> oh my god, that was... The next one is actually pretty lame. I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, it's the baby dragon. It hit speed increased to 1.6 seconds. Nothing big. It does need... More, it needs to do more damage or it needs more HP. Buff the baby dragon. Hashtag. The next one is actually pretty big, dude. It's gonna change... Uh, Dark Prince damage increased by 7.5%. So right now the Dark Prince is pretty decent, but it's not decent enough, especially alone. But now Pekka Double Prince, expect that. So Inferno Tower, get your Inferno Tower ready. Get your guards. If you guys have guards, use guards. Get skeletons in your deck or goblins in your deck because this is, expect a lot of Pekka Double Prince. The next one is huge, oh my god. This might start a new meta. This might start new cancer. Bowler. Its elixir cost decreased to 5 now. That's huge. Its hit points did get decreased by 7%, but its damage decreased. Oh no. The damage decreased by 5 by 10%. What? Bowler is useless. <laughs> So the next one, let's see, what the heck, am I reading this right? The Lumberjack? This is a nerf! This is a nerf! The Lumberjack needed a buff, but let's see, its speed increased to very fast. 
Its hit speed increased to 0.7 seconds. Okay, that's good, but its damage decreased by 23%? What? This is a nerf. This is a nerf. The next one is actually... Oh man, this is a joke. Just make the... If you guys want to buff the log, just make it an epic or, or rare. Its cast time decreased by 66% and its travel speed increased by 20%. So the log will be deployed faster and it's going to be faster to take out troops. If you want to buff it, just make it an epic or a rare. They said that they have other tricks up their sleeves, but it's just so it could pretty much push back everything. Just make it a rare or epic. So the next one is actually something that I mentioned, which is the golem. I've been saying that right now the, the meta is pretty much dominated by the giant and the royal giant and there's no love for the golem it did get hit and death damage increased by five percent and hit points increased by one percent which nothing the golemites got an increase of hit and death damage by eight percent and hit points increased by 3.2 percent but as long as they don't nerf the giant then the golem will be pretty much irrelevant so the next one is actually pretty huge which is the pekka the pekka sucks right now so it's damage increased by five percent and its first attack is going to happen a little bit quicker. So I don't know how quicker it is. But Pekka Double Prince. That's all I could think of. Pekka Double Prince. The next one is going to be Horrible. Which is Tombstone. It's bond speed increased to 2.5 seconds. So pretty much. If people are going to start using Inferno Tower. Expect a lot of Tombstone. So a lot of Giant with a Tombstone. A lot of Pekka Double Prince with a Tombstone expect all of that the next one is a little tiny buff which is to the archers it's to increase of damage by two percent it's just to fix i guess at certain levels the archers did not take out the goblins in one shot so that fixed it so the next one is the prince which the damage will be increased by two percent so yes peck a double prince but the thing that with the prince and i use a prince so the barbarians when they use barbarians to counter me uh, you know that the prince does like you know a charge shot so it does double damage it doesn't take out a barbarian and it's just one shot so maybe that's gonna fix it hopefully I like the prince but pick a double prince hashtag so let me know what you guys think about this update if you guys agree on some things and if you guys disagree on other things I personally think that the giant should have been modified slightly uh, because giant now it's gonna be the thing now giant 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 hashtag giant anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe and comment your opinions and until later peace out